Hi friends, welcome back to Lori's Crafty Corner. Today's layout is for the Shimmers Design Team and I wanted to go for a color scheme of like Christmassy color scheme using black, green, and red. Um, but I'm going to be documenting a non-Christmas uh, picture. So I'm using colors that you we usually think of of belonging to Christmas, but I'm using them in a non-Christmassy way. And here I'm debating whether using uh, if, whether if I'm going to use this text paper or if I'm going to be using a white cardstock with that acetate sheet of black um, words on it. In the end, I use this texty paper and I go ahead and use some white acrylic paint and sort of fade out, not completely. I don't block out the words completely, but I wanted to sort of create this faded out section um, so that my cluster of paper and everything else sort of pops up um, and I do add some faded out areas to the left hand side on the upper right hand left upper left hand corner and lower left hand corner I do add some splatters with the same white acrylic paint but you know it's white on white so it's not that noticeable then, while that's drying, I go ahead and start working on my paper layers. My picture roughly measures 3 by 4 roughly, because it's sort of not true 3 by 3 by 4 It's different. <laughs> um, but then I left a white border around it, and then I matted it on some red cardstock. And I'm going to use this glassine baggy just as an interest piece like you would use vellum or acetate or something it's been lying on my desk for a while and when i mean a while basically since like wow since like the summer and i want to use it up i didn't want to throw it out but yeah it made it onto a layout so yeah i'm happy with that i add this uh glittery piece for just for interest and also to tie in um towards the end um, well, I already had in mind of adding gold to the layout, so I wanted something else gold in the actual layout just so that it all balances out and it all ties together. If you notice, I'm just tearing paper. It doesn't matter the size. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, squared off or anything. I'm just tearing paper, layering it beneath my picture or, yeah, picture and papers. Um... Some papers peek out throughout, like all around. Other papers peek out from some sections and whatnot. So I left it there. You know, um, my layering process stopped there for a moment. I brought back my layout, my base, and I used the cap of one of my son's bottles. I sprayed some black um, shimmers, which is before dawn, and made these circles. I wanted to go with three distinct circles, but then I add a fourth one towards the left hand side of the, well, the main cluster, where the main cluster is going to be. And I also added some splatters of the same black color, which is before dawn. I love that color. I love, I love using it. Um, what else? Then I bring in rose gold red. And that is part of the November color kit. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color. And here, I did something different. It's already on a plastic sheet, but then I brought another plastic sheet and then, yeah, like stamped it on the plastic sheet that had the color and then added that I hope I'm making sense and then I've added that plastic sheet onto it what it does is that I don't have any gesso on my uh, background so it helps create like a splotchy look because if I just used the original packaging to like add the like if like if I would use this packaging technique um, it would just be like a blob and I wanted it to be splotchy without having to add some um, 
with some gesso. Afterwards, I splattered some red necking, which is a creamies if I'm not mistaken. All the colors are, are written down below. And then this green is going to be added in some, um, with the packaging technique and in splatters, it's a gorgeous green. It's exactly the same color as the Grinch. So yeah, so it's very, very green color. Um, and I like the name, Jolly Green Giant. So right now it's looking kind of Christmassy, but I still keep on working with the layers because apart from having red, green, black, and gold on my layout, I wanted to have a very layered look. So I start playing with some other pa patterned paper. Um, I'm using piece, scrap pieces of patterned paper from Simple Stories, Echo Park, Maggie Holmes, which is crepe paper. Um, what else? Chamel's Head in the Clouds collection, collection, which is also um, a, a crepe paper, not crepe paper, which is an American crafts collection. I fiddle around with it because I don't want to cover up my white area as much as a, like a whole lot. I don't want any of the papers to be like, bam, here I am. I want them all to be like, hey, we're here in the party. We're, you know, we're part of this. If I, I really hope I'm making sense. Because I'm trying to explain my, my thought process as much as possible. I do apologize for the background noise. Um, at the time that I'm recording this, it's nap time for my kids. But mm, we're also having our yard fenced in. So if you hear some power tools and whatnot, um, it's because of that. I'm super excited for that, by the way. But anyways, um, back to the layout. Um, there what i did is that instead of adding the patterned paper to the paper stack that i already have i started adding it straight on to the layout and then sort of like adjusting here and there tearing it a bit more here and, and there and then for the first stack of patterned paper not patterned paper of yeah, well, yeah, stack of pattern paper. What I did is that I added some craft foam, which helped add extra dimension to that area. Well, to the stack of pattern paper with the picture. And there. I love how that looks. I had these flowers lying around. I wanted to use them. So I started, I started layering them in. Those are the, actually the only two flowers of that sort that I have. Um, then I started ripping some paper for just to create some extra interest on the other two clusters. And then I went over this little bowl that I have full of um, leftover fussy cut flowers. And I saw these other flowers by Vicky Boone, the first ones, the ones that are sort of like beige color and black. Those are from her Wild Honey and Field, Field Notes, not Honey, Oops. Wild Flower and Honey Collection. And the other ones, I believe they are from her All the Good Things Collection or Color Kaleidoscope. It's sort of those daisies and sunflowery flowers um, some of them had blue flowers s sort of tied into them. Some of them have pink flowers, but I trimmed them down enough so that I could only get those reddish flowers with the white flowers because those reddish flowers tie in very well with the mixed media that I have going on with the overall color scheme. And then I layer them both. Like I layer the newer flowers, from, well, newer in terms of her newest collection and the other flowers um well i'm layering them just how you're look how, just how you see them now 
I had this sort of branch there. I end up cu um, cutting off the leaves and just tucking them here and there. But I wanted to add a bit more color. You know me, I love color. So what I did is that I got Jolly Green Giant, watered it down, and then started coloring the leaves. And then I added a bit of Honey Dew List, which is another more lettucey color green um, to the leaves. And then with a finer tipped brush, I colored each of those tiny leaves. But those are solely, they're only um, Jolly Green Giant. The larger ones are a mixture of Honeydew List and Jolly Green Giant. And then I used Rose Gold Red to color the centers of the flowers. But the actual petals, I left them as is. I do apologize. <laughs> you can sort of see my hair there, but yeah. And then I added some um, some splatters in minor minor 49er. And it's so that that gold strip of paper ties in with everything else on the layout. Because I like balance. I like having things tie in together not to be not to be like totally random on my layouts and be like oh just add this here and that's it so yeah anyways um so while they while they dry i go ahead and start playing around with the pl placement of these flowers i cut up that extra flower because anyways it was it was going to end up being cut off and what I did is that I cut that in two, and I'm going to be, in well, in two tiny pieces, and I'm going to be um, layering those flowers in with the others. Well, with the others that I'm going to be using in the smaller embellishment clusters. To add dimension, I pop some of the flowers up on craft foam. This other section over here took me a while to fiddle around with it because all three of the flowers were leftovers, <laughs> basically. And they had sections of the flowers, well, sections of them were like cut off and they looked weird. So it took me a while to actually set them down in a way that didn't look as weird. So, yeah. I love how it turned out. I love, I'm, I know it, the video is not done quite yet, but, um, you know, I have it here. I look at it and it's like, you can easily switch out the flowers for more, you know, some holly flowers or some pon, pon the clis Christmas flowers, um, poncetas, poncetias, poncetas, <laughs> those flowers, um, and you have a Christmas layout. Switch out the picture for uh, maybe a, a picture under the tree or something, or under a holly or something, and you can. And it's a very and it's a Christmas layout. And I love that. I love trying to push myself to use colors that we usually think are well belong to a certain time in during the year, and using it in a non-traditional way. I'm almost done. Oh yeah, then for some pops of black, I use these text and actually that longer text is going to be um, my title, which says a picture is worth a thousand words. And I wanted to put them there towards the right hand side of the picture, but 
I had so many layers going on there that it was just they were just unsticking like they were lifting off the page and I didn't want that so I layered the layered them on top of my picture and then I chose different text pages um, pages different text words from this Tim Holtz sticker book and sort of tuck them in here and there for extra pops of black. And then finally, I was like, what else can I add to this? So I grab Minor Minor 49er and I just go to town splattering it, trying to focus in on the cluster areas, but I just went to town with it, like splatter, 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 splatter. And then I dip my brush in the Before Dawn bottle to add just a couple of extra splatters in black. And there we go. And then finally I add some Nuvo drops in Wow, I forgot the name, but it's gold. It's gold. And I try to make them into different sizes so that they resemble enamel dots. Um, well, different sizes of enamel dots. And what I do is that I lift off the page and tap it beneath it just so that it, they get that um, enamel dot shape. And then I thought about adding my date in red ink, but I scratch that and just went for um, black ink and right now off camera I'm sort of looking for the date of when I took the picture well when my husband took the picture but anywho here is here are the close-ups again I said this before I loved how this turned out I love all the layering all the gorgeous color and I love that again I used Christmassy colors for a non Christmas layout. And I hope you guys are inspired to do something like this. Use colors or a color scheme that belong in a different, like, you know, usually for Valentine's, we use pinks and reds, pink, reds, and white, and try to use them for something else. And then, the, you know, document a Christmas picture or whatnot. Anywho, guys, I'll see you back soon with another process video. Till then, stay crafty.